In this video, we'll be going over how calculus is tied to the position formula, velocity formula, and acceleration formula. Throughout this video, we'll be using the givens acceleration equals 2 meters per second per second, initial velocity is 3 meters per second, and the initial position is 5 meters. First, let's go over what each of these formulas is representing. On this slide, I have listed the position or displacement formula, which is 1 half acceleration times time squared plus velocity times time plus initial position. To help visualize this, I have a car at the bottom of the slide that has a distance or position of 5 meters from the starting point due to the initial displacement plus 3 meters per unit of time in seconds due to the velocity displacement plus 1 half 2 meters per time in seconds squared due to the acceleration displacement. I have a graph at the top right which shows how the position of the car changes over time using the displayed formula. Now let's move on to the velocity equation. The velocity or displacement over time equation is velocity equals acceleration times time plus initial velocity. To illustrate this, we can think of a speedometer. We have two factors adding to where the location of the dial of the speedometer is. The first is initial velocity which is 3 meters per second, then we can add the second factor, which is acceleration or change in velocity over time of 2 meters per second per second times time. Plugging in time, we get the velocity value that will be displayed on the speedometer at that given time. To the right, I have a graph that shows the relationship of the velocity equation over time, for your reference. Finally, let's discuss the acceleration formula. Acceleration is the change of velocity over time. The acceleration formula for a constant acceleration is equal to acceleration. So acceleration equals 2 meters per second per second. This is stating that for every second that passes, the velocity will increase by 2 meters per second. To the right, I have a graph of the acceleration, which you can see in this case remains at a constant 2 meters per second. Now that we have the equations defined, it's time to talk some calculus. Basically, all of these equations are related in that the positions equation's derivative is the velocity equation, and the derivative of the velocity equation is the acceleration equation. On the other hand, the antiderivative or integral of the acceleration equation is the velocity equation, and the integral of the velocity equation is the position equation. You're probably wondering what a derivative is. Well, it is the rate of change or slope or steepness of a line at a given point on one of the graphs on the right. The equation for the slope of the line at a given point on the position formula is the velocity formula. The slope of the line at a given point is 2 meters per second per second times time plus 3 meters per second. And the slope of the velocity formula at a given point is the acceleration formula, which is 2 meters per second. Similarly, the antiderivative or integral is the area under the line that represents the equation or formula. So the area under the acceleration equation is the velocity equation without the unknown constant, which is 3 meters per second. When we don't know what the constant is, we designate it with a plus c when integrating. Notice that the acceleration times time portion of the velocity equation is that of the rectangle formed by the area under the line of the graph of the acceleration formula. To take this one step further, the area under the velocity equation is the position formula. Notice that the position formula is the formula for a triangle which is 1 half base times height, which is the acceleration portion, plus the formula for a rectangle which is the base times height, which is the velocity portion. Then we add our constant which is plus 5 meters. If we didn't know what the constant was, we would just add a plus c. That concludes this video. Hopefully I've earned a like, share, or subscription. If you enjoyed this video, you may enjoy one of these videos as well. Let me know how I'm doing in the comments down below. Thank you for watching.